Peg. I'm so excited. It's been so long, so very, very long. But in just a few brief moments, a brand new baseball season officially begins. Well, as long as I live, I will never understand your fascination with baseball. Well, if you'd promise not to live too long, I'd tell you. I mean, baseball is so boring. How come they don't have a Harlem Globetrotters baseball team? They do. They're called the Mets. I smell trail mix? <laughs> Fresh from under the sofa cushions. <laughs> Grab a seat. Mm, 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 mm. Button. Uh. <laughs> oh, hey, before I forget, Marcy wanted to invite you guys to an April Fool's party tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Oh, man, I love April Fool's Day. Peg, remember Mrs. Quinn, our music teacher? <laughs> yeah. One April Fool's, we faked a love note from her to the female gym teacher. <laughs> and the school board suspended her license. <laughs> Just three days before her retirement. <laughs> and her husband divorced her, left her penniless. <laughs> well, one April Fool's Day, I called the operator, said I couldn't get through to the zoo because their lion was busy. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Dad. Great news, Dad. Kelly and I want to start up our own business. So will you loan us $5,000? <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> Jody, Buffy, let me truck on over here to the wall safe. Nobody look. <laughs> Well, strike me bland and call me Charlie. It's been took. <laughs> Quick, after him. I'll wait over here by the ball game. I didn't even know we had a wall safe. <laughs> too bad it's gone and your brains were in it. Now, kids, if your father had been a successful shoe salesman, or a husband, or a lover, or anything, <laughs> what kind of business would it have been? Well, it was gonna be a photography studio where lonely guys could get their pictures taken with pretty girls. Hey, now that's not a bad idea. How'd you come up with that? Well, Saturday night and everyone was out partying and everything, so obviously Bud was upstairs in his room looking at underwear ads in the paper. Look, I figured... it's not important how she got the idea. The point is, we need $5,000. Well, a good panhandler can pull in $500 a day. $500 a day? We'll have Bud and Kelly's open in no time. Hey, wait a minute. It was my idea. We're gonna name it after me. Hmm. There's already a place called In-N-Out. <laughs> the game's starting. Who are those guys? Oh, they're just a bunch of VIPs nobody cares about. That's the owner of the team. He's introducing a new guy who just bought 10% of it. That's him. Huh? That's who? That's him, Walter Trogett. I, I, uh, I gotta go. Wait a second, wait a second, Jefferson, come back here. What's wrong? Was it something Peg did? <laughs> because if it was, she'll be in the basement till the All-Star break. <laughs> uh, now, who am I gonna watch the game with? <laughs> another thing about this baseball. Ah, uh, no. Now, why does that guy get to walk to the base? Because he got four balls. <laughs> well, Don't even say it! <laughs> if your mouth must open and close, do it on this. You know, if you paid half as much attention to me as you do to this game, I probably wouldn't mind so much. I do pay attention to you, Peg. Ow! No, he was safe. Ow, I think I broke my tooth. Ow! He was safe! 